Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for, for quick and sound learning. In today's session we are going to do a heat transfer mode using conduction and convection using Abacus start, standard. So let's get started. Today's learning session will have um, a copper plate. The copper plate dimension is a 10 meter by 10 meter and 1 meter is a thickness and uh, we are going to have a heat transfer using a uh, two modes it will be through conduction and convection so earlier video we are make on a, a conduction so this will be a conduction plus convection and again this is a building up video uh, for conduction um, we are going to go uh, do using this Fourier law so k a d t by d x so thermal conducted into area into a temperature gradient so in this particular problem we are going to give a heat flux at one particular surface other uh, other end of this plate will have a, a boundary condition for a temperature which will have a 200 kelvin uh, temperature uh, top plate we are going to use a convection model so the convection heat transfer mode is uh, h a d t where h is the heat transfer coefficient so we are going to put a, a fan on the top surface so this fan will have a different speed it will have a low speed so it will have different uh, heat transfer coefficient and once it go to a higher speed uh, it will have a different uh, heat transfer coefficient so you will get a learning how uh, h is also changing a temperature within a plate and um, overall we are going to uh, use same uh, uh, 8 noded linear heat transfer brick element SI units we are going to use kg meter Newton Kelvin and second uh, for very specific to this we are going to start uh, you going to use a copper conductivity 400 watts per meter Kelvin again we are not going into detail of uh, temperature dependent conductivity so it will have only one conductivity at a room temperature uh, before going to a direct problem just one more slide before we move there so now uh, in this particular uh, problem we are in, uh, included a convection so your H connective heat transfer coefficient is uh, watt per meter square Kelvin and this H depends on different uh, media type like gas or liquid flow property like uh, one of the property we are going to say is if you have a high velocity air flowing through on this plate then 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 your H will be on higher side so the heat passing from this top surface to uh, air or outside will be faster if you have a fan at high speed and the, if it is at low speed then the heat transfer from this surface to outside will be low so we are going to play with H and this particular H is depend on uh, as mentioned velocity viscosity again a type of um, uh, media gas air or liquid and for air it is specifically in the range of 10 to 10,000 again depend on what particular velocity and viscosity of air is there so we are going to try this problem so uh, let's start the problem in a uh, uh, abacus ci so let's start modeling the uh, problem so we'll create some part so part one will say copper plate 3d deformable solid extruded so I'll just have some approximate dimension as 20. Uh, we'll create this rectangular cross section 10 meter by uh, 10 meter by 1 meter. So I'll just select the dimension, so which is a 10 and uh, I'll just select so we are saying 10 and then I'll select this as 1 so we created a rectangular cross section 10 by 1 now we'll uh, uh, extrude this uh, section so I'll put uh, depth 10 so that's what actually we have created a block now 10 by 10 and 1 meter in height so we'll create a metal property now this particular property for copper uh, conductivity is the only parameter we are going to use so 400 
watts per meter kelvin conductivity we are use then we'll create a section section solid homogeneous we have created a section and the metal property will be copper um, now we'll just select uh, whatever section we have created which will connect to the part so we have selected the part and then we'll say section 1 so we have connected the section to the part now you see the ones as we connect the section to the part the color of the part will change now uh, we'll create an instant here so we'll create instant uh, we are going to uh, generate a dependent uh, mesh on part instant here so I'll say apply ok so there are two instants created so I'll just delete the one so we have created one instant then we'll go to uh, step we'll create a step so we'll create a step heat transfer Uh, we are going to do a steady state heat transfer so the load is going to apply over a period of time so uh, ramp linearly over a step so we created a heat transfer step now we'll put uh, we'll start putting a boundary condition so I'll create first boundary condition temperature 200 Uh, Kelvin we are going to give so I'm going to put on this particular face a uh, 200 Kelvin so I selected the face done and uh, uniform and then we'll say 200 Kelvin ramp over a period of time so you see the boundary condition we applied to the one end uh, in our first video on only conduction we have put the two temperature boundary condition our earlier video but this time we are going to put a heat flux here so you'll get a feel and idea about the heat flux and then uh, we can you can also learn how to apply heat flux so whenever you want to apply heat flux we'll go to load uh, we'll create load which will be heat flux so surface heat flux we are going to do generate so if you want to really uh, if you are a structural uh, guy then you can really uh, connect uh, surface heat flux is equal to pressure uh, loading and the concentrated heat flux is equal to a point load and body heat flux is like a gravity load so we are going to put a surface heat flux so which is like a pressure uh, thing in a structural engineering so we are going to select this done so we'll put thousand as a heat flux so we have created a heat flux here we have created a temperature boundary condition here now on the top surface we are having a fan going on and uh, the two side edge and the bottom surface will we are going to assume as a uh, perfectly insulated surface so there is no heat going out from this side others uh, I'll just rotate it so this side and this side there is no heat flux going out there is no heat transfer from the bottom so heat transfer is going from one end to another end like this and then then there will be fan so because of fan um, whatever H is there heat transfer uh, uh, H because of uh, uh, air passing on the top surface so that will be the another load so for uh, convection heat transfer uh, things I'll just just go back for two minutes uh, one so we are now going to put a, a convective heat transfer coefficient H we are going to put it so H A uh, D T is the equation so area and temperature difference it can be uh, calculated H is the parameter we have to give in terms of a conduction so for giving a H uh, we have to go to 
interaction we'll say create and then here you can give a let's see and you can give a surface uh, for film condition continue so you select a surface done now uh, guys you can give a film coefficient as a function of temperature but this is just a building up video so we'll give some fan is uh, going on a slow speed so i'm going to give a 30 as a film coefficient and sink uh, uh, sink temperature is room temperature i'm assuming here for this this film coefficient so i'm giving, going to give a 30 so this is what we are given h we are given and then we are given a heat flux from one side uh, temperature boundary condition on the other side and we are given a h on the top so and other surfaces we are assuming as a perfectly insulated so uh, that's all uh, we are done so just to recap uh, we have created a part um, we created a section we created a material you put a conductivity section we are connected to the part we created the instant so we created a step then we created different boundary conditions so we'll move now to a meshing module so now uh, we'll move to meshing so meshing we are going to do in a part not in an assembly we are going to do in a part because instant we have created a dependent part to instant so i'll go to the mesh uh, i'm going to select element type so you are going to standard then you select heat transfer so we have selected a C D C 3 D 8 and 8 noded linear heat transfer brick uh, we'll select uh, some of the mesh controls so since it is a one uh, one is the depth so we'll put some global as 0 0.25 that way we can get at least a four element across this thickness so we can have uh, at least see the variation in the temperature across the thickness uh, which is a uh, quite sufficient for this particular problem this type of coarse mesh but in case you want to go for very detail you can go for fine mesh so we are given that so we'll put a part as a mesh so we have mesh the part so our full model is ready so we'll create a job then we'll go to manager so model one is our name so we'll say uh, submit so we have submitted the uh, model for run so by the time uh, the problem is running in background uh, let's go and check how the input file looks like now this particular input file goes to my working directory which is i set in a uh, abacus environmental file but for your case it may be going into temp directory so check and uh, how the input file looks i just open the input file in a text pad so I'm putting a star so star are command so we can see a part definition then nodal definition and then you can see the particular uh, 8 noded heat transfer element DC uh, 3D8 then you see surface some node set generation element set generation then we have solid section which is section definition then we have instant and then 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 node set created for uh, temperature boundary conditions of surface generated uh, for uh, heat flux application then you go to see material of uh, material you can see a 400 is a thermal conductivity given then 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 we are coming to heat transfer so star step heat transfer start heat transfer steady state we just one one so it is a directly a linear step we put a temperature boundary condition 11 is a temperature boundary condition uh, uh, degree of freedom uh, indication so 200 we are given at the one end 
St using a star DS flux, we are given a heat flux on one particular surface, 50,000 watt per meter square. And then using a S film, we are given a 30 as a edge heat transfer coefficient. So now uh, let's go and check uh, how the results looks like. So let's check into result. So right now what you are seeing is the results and then you can see the heat from one end is moving towards the uh, another end and uh, uh, you can see we can just put I'll stop this animation so I'll just apply for so you can see uh, because of the giving a heat flux at the one end the temperature is around 746 Kelvin and other end we have put a fixed boundary condition for 200 Kelvin and this is uh, you can see a, a temperature going from one end to another end now one of the observation if you uh, really see uh, the 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 temperature gradient going at the top surface and go, how it going at the bot sur bottom surface so it is a gradient and this gradient is because you are given an edge so convection heat transfer coefficient is given at the, at the top which is a fan uh, moving with slow speed so 30 was given and because of that you see uh, at the top surface is getting cooler faster compared to the bottom surface and that's what you are seeing this gradient going up now uh, guys will do one more thing uh, just to make this interesting we'll go and make the fan on a on a on a fast mode so to go to make a fan on the fast mode we'll go to interaction we'll just edit this property so instead of 30 we'll make a 300 so now uh, guys will submit a run for this so that way you will get idea how how really it change the temperature condition so we'll just submit a run and then we'll just wait for a result so guys we have completed run with uh, uh, S film 300 which is the film uh, the fan at the fast mode and then you see the top surface is getting cooler faster I'll just uh, stop this animation and go to really a results at the end of the step so now if you see earlier the temperature at the one end because of heat flux was getting 746 now which dropped to 470 and then you can see the top surface is getting cooler faster because of this fan is blowing air at the higher speed and then if you look at the bottom surface you see all the gradient here so this is what the significance of uh, S film and the edge so going back um, we took this problem two modes of heat transfer conduction and convection conduction we put a thermal conductivity we validated the Fourier law and then conduction using H A delta T we also shown the physical significance of H how we can change this and use in a uh, our day-to-day -day, uh, engineering problem and that way you can really connect uh, software like Abacus with engineering and then the, the our motto is to make this video is to really you understand the Abacus software and the same time a real-time problem how you can solve in this uh, Abacus uh, solver now guys uh, this is a non-profit project we would require your support uh, to take this project forward so don't forget to subscribe us or like us on a youtube so uh, go ahead and then start uh, working on this problem get this tutorial done so you'll get a feel uh, in terms of heat transfer so uh, next video we'll just come up with uh, we'll, we'll uh, either shift to a contact or we'll put a radiation in uh, radi radiation third video so uh, just send us an email or uh, any feedback on abacus uh, acumen at the gmail.com so based on your requirement we'll just build next video thanks bye bye